So the final chapter in Unit 2 is Hygiene, Sanitation, and Safety. This chapter is, is a, kind of a transition between the previous chapters that focused on professionalism, ethics, business, uh, research, decision making. Those chapters uh, work more with content that we think about and then we implement. Sanitation, hygiene, and safety expands that information and helps us make the decisions that we need to be confident in as we move into the hands-on skills in chapter in unit four or unit three and the application skills in unit four. So hygiene, safety, and sanitation were in this COVID world and as we go into the post-COVID practice, uh, this information will alter and it will change. But the content in the textbook is a solid uh, evidence-informed platform for you to build those discussions. Uh, in addition to those issues, uh, there is more to safety. And that content was also expanded in this edition in the textbook. Um, there's a need to have an understanding of safety in your environment related to uh, fire hazards, tripping hazards, um, simple things like the receptacles you use for um, waste and how you keep the front door area clean and are rugs, you know, valuable or not. Those are decisions each person will have to make. But there's also uh, hazards related to being bullied or uh, not having a good communication with your peers and uh, sexual harassment or other forms of harassment. And that content has been expanded. Also, the information related to how you deal with um, people that may come into your environment that pose a danger. Um, and what is a safe room and how do you equip that? And unfortunately, that is an important part of how all of us need to function. And so I took the opportunity in this edition of the textbook to expand on all that as well. So as we uh, move into the next unit, everything that we have talked about previously is gonna lay a platform and a foundation primarily related to how we think about what we're going to do and the decisions we make. Uh, so, uh, onward we go.